from a point we can see the top of a tree with an angle of p quarter radians if we move back 10 meters we see the top of a tree with an angle of p6 radians we are asked to calculate the height of the tree to solve this problem get to know how big the tree is we are going to consider two triangles the first triangle is this we have right here and the second one is the whole triangle having a look at the smallest we are going to name this side X we can see that we have a right angled triangle because the angle is 90 degrees p halves the height is h so let's calculate the tangent of p quarters the tangent of p quarters which is this angle we should know that it is the opposite leg divided by the contiguous leg we should know that the tangent of p quarters is 1 so 1 is h divided by x that means that x is h now let's work with the big triangle this would be p6 this is 90 degrees this is h and this as we've named x this from here to here it would be 10 plus x let's calculate the tangent of p6 the tangent of p6 is opposite leg divided by the contiguous leg p6 is the same as 30 degrees so its tangent is the square root of 3 divided by 3 so this will be h divided by 10 plus x the 10 plus x goes to the side multiplying and the same with the 3 3 times h if we substitute the value of x we already found we would have the square root of 3 times 10 plus x or h is equal to 3 times h applying the distributive property we have 10 times square root of 3 plus h times the square root of 3 equals to 3h the square root of 3 times h goes to the other side as minus the square root of 3 times h so 10 times the square root of would be equal to 3h minus the square root of 3 times h we said that the common factor is 10 so 10 times the square root of 3 is equal to h times 3 minus the square root of 3 we move this to the other side it will appear dividing therefore we have 10 times the square root of 3 divided by 3 minus the square root of 3 equals h that is the value of h doing the operation with the calculator we can obtain an approximate number 
but we are going to rationalize the result instead of using the calculator. So, 3 plus the square root of 3 divided by 3 plus the square root of 3 multiplies the previous result. We would have 30 times the square root of 3 plus 10 times 3, 30. The denominator would be square 3 minus the square root of 3. 30 plus the square root of 3 plus 30 divided by 6. That is 5 times the square root of 3 plus 5. That would be a result of the height of the tree.